What's up guys, the Lucid Prophet here with some more reviews for your head top. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, JBL Boombox 2. Let's get into it. Hee hee, I got it. Alright, now, we're going to look at design, sound, what it can do, and maybe a couple things I don't like. All right, we're going to start off with the way it looks. So we got the handle here. They usually have this uh, pretty consistent design language. Pill type of shape thing, capsule-like thing going on. Makes for a pretty nice thing to have when you're out, you know? They only come in uh, two colors. As you, can, as you can clearly see, I got the camo. Usually don't go for that thing because I'm not a big camo fan. But I didn't want black this time. So I want to do something different. I kind of like how they did the camo. The way the handle is done, they actually have a nice JBL uh, Boombox 2 label up here. And then of course they got the JBL logo on the front. On the sides though, they got some cool like imprints or whatever on the uh, cups for the woofer. And, and if you look around the cup, there's like this like jet propulsion type of thing looking going on, which is I actually really like. The other thing I would do want to mention that it is quite a big girl. You know what I'm saying? 13 pounds, you got to be prepared, be prepared to carry that around. All right? The next thing I want to talk about are some of the features. So going left to right, we're going to go from the party play. There we go. Party play. Volume down. Power. Bluetooth volume up play pause all right underneath here or lower on the front we got the uh battery meter so they i like i kind of like how they did this battery meter so uh, something different we are gonna go to the back open that bad boy up and then we're gonna see here that we got the charging port reverse charging so this is a usb c or you sorry usb a Port. So you can plug up whatever device you have and then you can charge it through the 10,000 milliamp hour battery that's inside of this bad boy. Updating port and your auxiliary. Make sure you close this back because that's how you get that IPX7 rating. Speaking of the IPX7, that means it can go submerged in the water for 30 minutes up to 3 meters. The only thing is be careful if it drops in the water, it sinks. So if the water is too deep, you got to be quick to go get it. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the sound. You got the two drivers here, tweeter, and you got your woofers on the sides. Woof, woof, woof on the two sides here. It gives you that bass thump. The bass response on it is actually really good. I like the bass. JBL has been good with bass on the devices always. That's a common thing for them. The other thing that I want to address... The elephant in the room. You guys are probably wondering, how much does this bad boy cost? Tell me the price. What's the number? 500. 550, 500, depending where you get it from. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can go ahead and make your purchase or even go check it out. So the sound is really good. At high volumes, you don't have any real, really any distortion in the sound. So that's actually really awesome. That's what I look for when I'm buying a speaker, if it can handle higher volumes. The other thing is, you're looking at 80 watt power output, okay? That's when it's unplugged. You get more when it's plugged in. So you get more, more power, which means more volume, usually. That's how that translates. The other thing I want to discuss here is some of the things I don't like. Some of the things I wish they did different or did better. It's 13 pounds. It's heavy. It's not light. You're going to walk to the beach. You guys know I like the beach. And if you don't know, if you're new, I love the beach. I like the water. Carrying this from my car to the beach is not that simple because I'd be bringing, you know, blanket, tent, umbrellas, chairs, the whole nine. So that's kind of a, a different thing you got to look into when you're carrying this. It does not have straps or strap loops so that you can carry it a bit easier. So this takes up a hand slot like an RPG. Now what are you going to do with the rest of your appendages, right? 
So that's the thing you got to look into or think about when you're getting the speaker. The other thing is only two color options, camo, black, and the sun. And it's a big object. People are going to be looking at it. I wish they did like pink or even like some fun, cool designs, like a starry design or sorry, even some like simple stripes or just something cool to make it more appealing, you know? The other thing I don't like is sometimes I'm not a fan of the uh, stitching here. It's like a fabric. Sand, like, like I said, I'm at the beach, sand will get in that. So it's kind of hard to get the sand out. It's not like you can't get it out, but it's kind of hard to, to get it out. That's another thing. The other thing is, of course, the price. It's kind of expensive. I'm not a baller, shot caller, make all the girls want to holler. You know what I'm saying? So that's a kind of a steep price for what you get, but I get why it is priced the way it's priced. It's a great product. So that's about it. Let me know what you think about the speaker. If you have it, let me know if you are looking to getting it or even another speaker you have that you would want to compare this to. I'm your boy Lucy, and this has been another review. Peace. I've been making moves in silence, getting better with the timing. I rap for my change at the mileage. Never skated through life, man. I've always been grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. Like I'm part of the groups, I got plenty of hits, but I'd rather keep rhyming. Making the music that's timeless, I'ma keep climbing.